Welcome to SHOT Show TV. I'm David Lombardo, and we're going to talk about security now. We have two gentlemen here who are uh, training security and uh, compliance consultants, and you're part of a program with the National Shooting Sports Foundation, uh, which is a firearm store uh, security audit. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it, it is, and uh, we're real happy to be here this year and talk more about this new program that NSSF has introduced to you know, support the FFLs, distributors, and ranges in complying better and improving their security. Well, so John, what, uh, this John, your background is what? What type of background do you guys have? Well, our teams are, 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 is all comprised of either law enforcement, military, or private retail security for more than 25 or 30 years each. So collectively, we put all of our knowledge together and have created programs that basically can be adapted to any, any FFL situation. Other John, so what does an audit actually encompass? What sorts of things are you going to do? How do you prep for something like that? You know, the, the philosophy behind it is to start from the outside and work your way in. Actually take a look at the entire facility. Um, the operations of the facility, crime prevention through environmental design, looking at the landscape, um, understanding the area around the store, the neighborhoods around the store, and the crime activity within the area. Um, we go in depth as far as even IT security, taking a look at their IT security practices, making sure they're using strong passwords, making sure they have the capability to prevent any type of skimming or hacking, things of that nature. So we, we cover a wide array of subjects. It sounds like it takes a long time to go through that. Yeah, we've taken our full day visit, which would have been eight or 10 hours when this program launched, and we're down to about five or six hours, but it's really good time spent with the, with the operator and the staff, the senior management staff of the uh, location. And we, we usually, we get so deep into issues they haven't maybe looked at in a long time or didn't think about prior. So uh, we, we've, over the year, we've streamlined it. So from a member, an NSSF member's perspective, the benefit to, the, to that individual would be what specifically? Well, first and foremost, it's pretty basic. Let me target hard in my location. Let me not become a victim of a burglary or a robbery. Let me look at what I've invested in thus far. But when we go in, we actually are able to supplement what they've already done with additional practices, cost effective, uh, realistic and smart, based on you know, the size of the business and the staff and who they are and where they are. Do you give immediate feedback or, or is it a report? What, what's the end product? How does that actually work? Well, we actually walk through the process with the owner or the management of the facility, um, talk them through everything, learn about their business, understand the, the way the business operates. Uh, as the day goes on, we'll ask, questions of different parties within the organization. Some organizations have an IT person, some organizations have a general manager, others have facility managers. So we get really in-depth insight from all the different parties that are responsible for operating that business. Um, and then at the end of the day, we do what's called a closing conference. So we have the opening conference, kind of get an understanding, then we have a closing conference with the owner, kind of give a high level of what our findings were, and then what happens is we'll give them a, a, a fairly sizable report breaks down every topic, category by category, subcategories, gives recommendations for each, and then what we do is we schedule an actual phone call, conference call with them to go over the report, so that way if they have any questions. And then we leave ourselves available to them in the future if they need anything. They just pick up the phone, call us, they have all our contact information. Um, of those that we've completed, which is quite a few, um, you know, we have great relationships with everybody that's had them done so far, and they, they know they can call us. What, 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 oh, oh, sorry, one of the eye-opening pieces we've learned this year by visiting and maintaining and creating that relationship, a lot of our NSSF members didn't even realize the service was available, and you know they can pick up a phone and give us a 10-minute chat, you know, a couple months after the visit, and we can still you know be there to service them. Being a Chicago suburban guy, uh, a big deal in major metropolitan areas like New York, Chicago, and so on, they're constantly trying to shut gun stores down with this straw. They're sending fake straw men purchase. If you could just spend a, 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 you know, a half a minute just talking about what that is and do you help them on that? Sure, absolutely. You know, one of the easiest things that you can do and when it comes to preventing straw purchases is start to build out kind of a philosophy, of, you know, understanding how they occur, right? Understanding this is how they typically happen. Um, somebody comes in, they look for a firearm or, you know, they're looking at a firearm. They don't ask a lot of questions. You know, I just want that gun. Um, some of the other things you can do, create logs, um, actually document. If somebody comes in to purchase a firearm and then they get declined, making sure that you actually log that information. 
and educate your staff to look for attributes, same address, um, the questions they ask about the firearm. Do, do they, are they really interested in it? Why do they want the firearm? Just asking qualifying questions. There are, there's an entire gamut of things we go through to train people to understand uh, straw purchases and how to prevent them. So this is a pretty comprehensive program. What, you, you, I, you know, if you're a member of the NSSF, what is something like this gonna cost? This is a, a real benefit to the member. If you're a premium member or a new member, you can have this visit completed for actually $499 by the retailer, whereas the supplementary costs are covered by NSSF. And wow. if you go outside of the membership, you know, this could cost several thousands of dollars when you bring a consultant in to look at your business from, we call it front door to back door, and your employee base and your internal operations. So with our experience, there's really no piece we don't touch and there's no question we can't answer at a very affordable price. So there's really no excuse for a dealer to not do this. This is a really sound program. Right, and, and the benefit to speaking with you today is to let all of our membership know about it because we've been trying to market this through emails, which really people don't have an answer, a time to answer, uh, through our weekly bullet points. So if, and if they want more information, it's all available on the NSSF website under the retail security page, and uh, you know, hopefully they can get there and learn more about it. That's great, it's a great program. John Bacher, John Clark, we appreciate you coming on and talking about it. Certainly it's the type of thing that every distributor, every uh, uh, retailer should be involved in doing. It just makes common sense. It's just a good idea. So for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.